Hello, and welcome to the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine REDCap tutorial. In these videos, we'll go over some policies and procedures, walk through how to create a project, and demonstrate how a simple survey works in REDCap. Supplementary training videos for advanced survey features are available, but we don't require you to view these videos to create a REDCap account. Let's get started. At the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, any PCOM faculty, staff, or resident with the PCOM.edu email address can request and create a REDCap user account. PCOM students may create a REDCap account through a faculty or staff sponsor who has a REDCap account. Non-PCOM users who work with the PCOM faculty or staff researcher can also create a PCOM REDCap account with that individual as their sponsor. REDCap users can create projects for various purposes, including longitudinal research projects, qualitative projects, and simple surveys. All research projects involving human subjects must receive IRB approval as per PCOM policy. You do not need IRB approval to begin creating your project. However, you must submit your IRB approval before your project moves to production and you start collecting data. The first step to using REDCap is to watch these tutorial videos and complete the quiz. Upon passing the quiz, a REDCap administrator will create an account linked to your PCOM email credentials. To log into REDCap, use the credentials sent to you by a REDCap administrator. You may change your password at any time. After your account has been created, you'll be ready to create your REDCap project. A REDCap project database has multiple stages. The first stage is development. At this stage, you create your project and design your database or survey forms. You'll want to test these as much as you can to ensure that you're collecting all necessary information and that the flow of information works well for your project. You're also going to want to make sure that any special features you use, like branching logic or calculated fields, are working correctly. There are a few valuable tips to remember when you're creating your project database. The first tip is that in each project, the subject or record ID must be the first variable on the first form. This ID is unique to each record. Second, variable names can only contain lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores. You can't use spaces in these fields. Third, to make data entry as easy and clean as possible, use drop-down menus and validated text fields. This step will save a fair amount of time and headache because you won't need to look up a value or spelling. You can use field notes to indicate required units or formats. Group similar variables together on separate forms and keep the forms reasonably short. There are two reasons that you want to do that. One is that it's easier for people to enter many short forms than one incredibly long form. The other reason is that REDCap forms aren't saved automatically. They're saved when you click the Save button at the bottom of the form. If you have a very long form, you run the risk of a technical error occurring or a REDCap session timing out before you save. You'll want to identify all protected health information so that you can strip away that data before exporting. We recommend that you run a quick check on the data dictionary to see if it meets general best practice standards. You can find more information about this recommendation on our REDCap guide. Finally, REDCap is capable of doing calculations, but it's not designed as a statistical tool. Only include calculations in your REDCap database if they're necessary for other fields. Otherwise, Handle calculations after the data has been exported to a package designed to run statistics, such as SAS, SPSS, STATA, or R. This will lead to cleaner analysis, and your statistician may rerun any calculations for verification. Once you have everything completely designed and you've tested it multiple times, you'll be ready to submit a request to move your REDCap project to production by emailing a PDF of your IRB approval documentation to redcap at pcom.edu. After your project's been moved to production, you'll be ready to start collecting data. When you have all your data, 
you'll be ready to export your data for analysis. Once you have started collecting data and a project moved to production, any critical changes to your project will require further review by a REDCap administrator. REDCap will automatically approve most changes. However, if your proposed changes could harm your data, REDCap will forward your requests to a REDCap administrator who will verify that you want to move forward with the changes. This measure is to protect the integrity of your project. Ultimately, liability for any issues that may occur lies solely with you, the researcher, and your team. After completing a project, you can archive it, which removes the project from your list of project databases. Your project can be returned to production at any time, and it will be stored on the servers for at least seven years. Archiving projects remove some clutter from your REDCap homepage. If you decide to publish your work, we ask that you recognize REDCap in the publication. You can see how to cite REDCap by going to our REDCap guide. If you have any questions or would like to schedule an appointment with a librarian, contact us at redcap at pcom.edu. We aim to respond within two business days. Next, we'll look at how to log into REDCap and how to begin creating your project.